I'm currently reading the book Essentialism by Greg Macau. I'm on the chapter Focus. So I just want to read this chapter and share my thoughts. I like to read books a lot, but I do like to remember what I learn in the book. I've always had this theory that I talk about with my friends. The theory is that I think that teachers learn sometimes more than students do. I think that in the process of teaching, you're being challenged to explain something complex in a simple way. I haven't read this chapter, so this will be my first time reading it. So we're gonna be reading it together. This is chapter 19, Focus, What's Important to Me Now. Let's read it together. Life is available only in the present moment. If you abandon the present moment, you cannot live the moments of your daily life deeply. Tick not Han. The ancient Greeks had two words for time. The first was Kronos, the second was Kairos. The Greek god Kronos was imagined as an elderly, gray-haired man, and his name connotes the literal ticking clock, the chronological time, the kind we measure and race about trying to use efficiently. Kairos is different. While it is difficult to translate precisely, it refers to time that is opportune, right, and different. Kronos is quantitative. Kairos is qualitative. The latter is experienced only when we are fully in the moment, when we exist in the now. The way of the essentialist is to tune into the present, to experience life in Kairos, not in Kronos, to focus on the things that are truly important, not yesterday or tomorrow, but right now. I ran into a former classmate of mine years after graduating from Stanford. I was on campus doing some work on a computer in one of the offices when he came over to say hi. After a minute of pleasantries, he told me he was in between jobs. He explained a little about the job he was looking for and asked if I could help him. I started asking him some questions to see how I could be helpful to him, but 20 seconds into the conversation, he got a text on his phone. Without saying a word, he looked down and started responding to it. I did what I typically do when that happens. I paused and I waited. 10 seconds went by, then 20. I stood there as he continued to text away furiously. I didn't say anything. He didn't acknowledge me. Out of curiosity, I waited to see how long it would go on. But after two full minutes, which is quite a lot of time when you are standing waiting for someone, I gave up, walked back to my desk, and went back to my work. After another five minutes, he became present again, interrupting me for the second time. Now he wanted to resume the conversation, to ask for help with his job search again. Initially, I had been ready to recommend him for a job opening I knew of, but after this incident, I admit to feeling hesitant about recommending him for an interview where he might suddenly not be present. He'd be present in body, perhaps, but not in mind. At this point, you might expect me to start talking about the evils of multitasking, about how a true essentialist never attempts to do more than one thing at a time. But in fact, we can easily do two things at the same time, wash the dishes and listen to the radio, eat and talk, clear the clutter on our desk while thinking about where to go for lunch, text message while watching television, and so on. What we can't do is concentrate on two things at the same time. When I talk about being present, I'm not talking about doing only one thing at a time. I'm talking about being focused on one thing at a time. Multitasking itself is not the enemy of essentialism. Pretending we can multi-focus is. A lot to read. I really like a part in this chapter where he talks about the two names for time, the two words for time in Greek language, chronos and kairos. These two words are really cool. Time is a big part of understanding focus and um, and to name it is to know it. So now you know these two new words. Kairos, which is to define and discern the quality of time you've spent with someone. And Kronos, which is our stereotypical way of perceiving time, um, 
measuring it by the minutes, the seconds, the hours, the month, the days. Try leaning, experiment with leaning towards Kairos, the quality of time that you spend with someone and how present and focused you are with that person, with that art, or with that work. Thank you.